Welcome to another episode of Freedom Footage. Today we take to the seas and journey to a far south place known as Costa Rica. Unlike a desert, it actually rains in Costa Rica, so flora and fauna are plenty. I had the luxury of visiting this place virtually for free thanks to my brother. Here he is doing some mining in Alaska, which is kind of what he did in Costa Rica, but not really. Anyway, with his help we will now explore the wonderful creatures of Costa Rica. Our first animal is the iguana. The iguanas come in all shapes and sizes and are really specialized to just hanging out. Look at that little green guy go. Here's the iguana in the typical squatting dog position. Despite their lazy, handout desiring nature, iguanas have been known to get quite angry and aggressive. This guy is scouring the ground looking for baby lettuce, but I have seen one iguana swim out in the ocean and take down a parrotfish. I mean, just look at how that flower got eviscerated by the huge teeth. These creatures are quite neat though, and actually communicate using large throat throbbing gestures. Ow! Ha ha ha! That one kind of looks like Godzilla. I should do a documentary on that. Our next animal is the hermit crab, which that crab is not. Hermit crabs actually invade the shells of other creatures, kick them out, and then prance around in their new suit of armor like an eighth grader in Halo Reach when he finally kills you and takes his sniper rifle and wastes all the ammo. Here's a large group of hermit crabs doing stuff. Not really sure what kind of stuff. Um. Actually, as my colleague pointed out, these crabs are all working together to open a seed to get at the nutritious nut enclosed. I mean, have you ever seen such teamwork before? Wait, did you see that? That was some John Cena level shit. Get wrecked. A bunch of hungry hungry hippos they are indeed. The next creature we will study is the toucan. What a strange animal. Why is it looking at our cameraman like that? At a young age, mother toucans actually fasten the scoop beak to their offspring, which the offspring then in turn wear for life. The scoop beak is used to eat eggs and talk to each other. It is important to never get on the bad side of a toucan. These little guys usually eat fruit, but will not hesitate to take down a small lizard or even an iguanodon. Like a hermit crab, these creatures also invade the homes of others to set up their nest. Always be friendly to these creatures and beware the scoop beak. Those colors certainly don't run. Oh, they even have nice little coloration there by the buttocks. That's cute. Finally, we have the titanium white faced monkey. We don't have much footage of this animal due to food protection reasons. These creatures are incredibly intelligent and are seen here storming the resort during mealtime to steal their meal. They tend to go around and eat well, really anything and everything. Sugar packets, bananas, forks, chicken, chickens. Unlike raccoons who scavenge for their meals, these monkeys actually launch coordinated assaults on human establishments. And unfortunately, I regret to inform you, but there have been tragic incidents in this country. You don't always survive the encounter. I was on a picnic with my girlfriend and uh, we were eating uh, avocado stew. And one day these monkeys, man, they just came out of nowhere and attacked and whatnot. And I was thinking about Scarlett Johansson at the time, which, uh, well, made it real hard to fend off the monkeys. And uh, before I could finish my stew, they, they got to my girlfriend. And, uh, you know, let's just say I'm going to need to find a new wife. Upon hearing these tragic stories, we decided to go to an expert to figure out why. White-faced monkey is the descendant of a subordinate enslaved race of aliens from the planet Charon. Having been banished to Earth by Bailey from the Commission on Political Traitors. We hope you've enjoyed our tour of Costa Rica. Until next time, Freedom Footage out. <laughs>